Hi there, it's John from JSR Intervalometers, and today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on bulb ramping with the JSR. You're going to connect your camera into the JSR, plug it into the shutter port, which is the one on the right when you're facing it from this way. You're going to need to plug in the uh, hot shoe monitoring cable, and this is just a cable that's got a uh, standard audio jack on one end and a PC sync jack on the other end. This goes into the aux port which is the one on the left. And then if your camera doesn't have a PC flash port, you're going to need a little adapter like this. Plug it in and then this goes on the flash holder. So that's how you get your camera plugged in and let's go ahead now, turn it on and we'll get, uh, get it set up. First thing we want to do when we turn the JSR on is we'll go to settings and then aux for the aux port and we want to make sure we have this set to the hot shoe monitor. We'll go to OK. Now I'm going to show you the light settings. This is for the backlight so you can set the brightness. You can set the delay before it fades and you can set whether it fades fast, slow, or doesn't fade at all. So I'm going to leave it on. And I just wanted to show you this before we go. And because we'll be doing bulb ramping when it's dark, to use the onboard flashlight, you just hold the top left button here, and that'll turn it on. You hold it again, and that turns it off. You can access that from any page. I'm going to go to the main page here. I'm going to go to camera. You want to make sure that you have it set on cable. The bulb ramping will not work if it's set on the infrared mode. It has to be on the cable. Go to the B-Ramp page, which is the bulb ramping. Uh, you can set the start time here. So I'm going to set a quarter of a second. You can set the initial stops per 100 pictures, the second line here. So I'm going to set this to 4, just for demonstration purposes. And then you have to make sure that you set the mode to on. If it's set off, it won't work. So we have this page set up. We'll go back to OK. Go to OK. And now if you've got it set up correctly, you'll see there's a little triangle beside the camera. That means bulb ramping is active. Going to go to uh, my camera here. set to bulb and now on this page I'm just going to set uh, the shutter time to 5 seconds and the motor time to 1 second and that should be all. When we click start we'll hear that it's running. You can go to the bulb ramp page Top number on the left, that's the shutter speed that it wants. Top number on the right, that's the actual shutter speed that it measured the camera is, is actually doing. You can see here you can change your stops per 100 pictures. Um, and then just to start it right now, it's inactive. We'll set active, and you can see each picture now. It's increasing the number, the uh, exposure. And you can see the camera is matching it pretty good. If your camera can't do uh, bulb ramping, what you're going to see is something like this, where the, num the actual shutter time is way out of what, what it wants the camera to do. So if your camera can't do bulb ramping, this is how you can tell the shutter speed won't be the same as what, what's required. I'm going to put my camera back onto bulb now. We should see it, it matches it up pretty good after a shot or two. There's out the next one. It's going to be pretty good. And there we go. Back onto bulb mode. Uh, the ISO plus and ISO minus, that's if you want to adjust the aperture or the ISO during a bulb ramp. All it does is it uh, cuts the shutter time in half each time you push it. 
So we'll see how that works when we do our bulb ramping. And that should be about it. One thing you want to make sure though, the number you have set here, the camera time, that has to be higher than the longest bulb ramp time you want. So normally I have it set to about 15 seconds and then that's, that's plenty of time. I just have it set to 5 seconds now just uh, to demonstrate. So here I am ready to do my bulb ramping tie lapse. I got my camera set up there. Got the white balance set to manual. Got it on manual focus. Got it on bulb mode, 100 ISO and an aperture of uh, 13. On the JSR I've got uh, a bulb time of 0.1 seconds and an initial stop of uh, one stop per 100 pictures. Everything is set to go. Camera time of 15 seconds, motor time of 3 seconds. And I think we are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it up. The sun is just uh, touching the horizon there. Now, I'm also going to start my uh, timer here and I'll show, the, show this as the time lapse progresses so we get an idea of uh, how long it takes. So I'll let it run like this for a bit and uh, I'll come back in a little while and see how it does. So here we are four minutes into the time lapse and uh, I'm going to start the bulb ramper here. So I'm going to just hit uh, set it to active. You can see the picture is getting a little bit darker there so this will help to brighten it up as the scene gets darker outside. You can see now each picture it's ramping up slightly. I'm just going to increase this. I'm going to set this to two and a half stops per 100 pictures. So here we are about 10 minutes into the time lapse. I can already tell the picture is going to be getting dark if I don't step up the rate a little bit. So I'm going to bump this right up to four. And uh, let's let it go. I'll come back in a bit and readjust it. So here we are, and I've just been watching the uh, pictures as they come, and I think it's ramping a little bit too fast. I'm going to bring this back down to uh, 3 point, 3 point 3.5 stops per 100 picks, and uh, let it go like this for a while. Okay, so here we are 43 minutes into the time lapse. You can see the shutter speed is just over 2 seconds. I'm actually going to increase this again to uh, 4. And right now I'm going to uh, change the aperture on the camera. So I have to wait until it finishes a picture and then I have to quickly change the aperture and change the shutter speed on the JSR before it triggers the next shot. So I'm at an aperture of 13. I'm going to go down three clicks to nine. At the same time I'm going to hit the ISO plus and that changes the shutter speed here to half of what it was before. I like to wait until two seconds before I step the aperture or the ISO, but you can do it at, uh, at any shutter time that you want. I'm actually going to step this out a bit because I think the picture is getting a little bit dark, so I'm going to set it to four and a half stops per hundred pictures. And this time I'm going to step the ISO. Same principle, same idea, wait for the picture. And then I uh, just have to double the ISO, so it's at 100. I'm going to set it to 200 and at the same time hit the plus ISO button. And that will have the shutter speed on the JSR. And this makes for a seamless transition as you step the uh, ISO or the aperture. I've stepped the ISO and the aperture. We're at ISO 400, aperture now of 6.3. And the shutter time is approaching 5 seconds. And what I'm going to do now is just start stepping down the rate of change. If I do it too quickly, there's going to be uh, noticeable 
steps in the final product. You want to do it nice and slow, that way everything is nice and uh, smooth out when you put it together. In this demonstration, I adjusted the rate of change in a couple rather large steps. You will notice this in the final video. It is better to make many smaller increments over time so the final result is smoother. Also, any flicker you might notice is due to lights inside being reflected on the window. In the graph on the screen, I want to illustrate how I adjust the rate of change. Across the bottom, you have the time axis starting with sunset. The vertical axis is the rate of change in stops per 100 pictures. You can see that you need to start with a gradual increase in ramping, which will increase rather quickly. At some point, you will have to reduce the rate of ramping, eventually ending at zero when the scene you're photographing is not getting any darker. I normally ramp at about three to four pictures per minute. I found that in the city, a maximum rate of ramping is around four to five stops per hundred pictures, and the time span is about one and a half hours past sunset. When you're out of the city, a maximum rate of ramping needs to be higher, around eight or nine stops per hundred pictures and the time span is around two to two and a half hours past sunset. These are guidelines only, but should be sufficient to get you started.